What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So some of you may know, I recently did an order on Morphe and I picked up the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe collaboration. While I was doing that order, I also picked up these guys, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighters. Now I wasn't necessarily planning on doing a video for these because I feel like, I mean, they're not the most newest product in the world, but I was still getting a ton of requests from you guys to actually review them. So I thought while I was placing an order, I'll pick those up as well. So today I'm gonna be trying these out. It's not gonna be an overly long video. I'm basically gonna be chucking these on my face and letting you guys know my thoughts, just like a first impression sort of situation. But yeah, you guys asked for it, so let's do it. All right, so as you can see, I don't really have any highlighter on right now. I did have it on earlier, but I just went ahead and blotted it all down. So the two products that I picked up was the highlighter palette. I got it in the shade The Flash, and then I also got one of the loose highlighters and I got it in the shade Carrots. Now these, I was just checking the website then to like remind myself of the prices. So this guy here, the loose one, is 29 pounds. This highlighter palette here, I thought it was about 40 quid. Turns out it's 58. That's what I get for like just shoving everything in my basket and just buying it without thinking. Um, yeah, so these are not cheap, which is why I wanted to do a review. So like, these better be good. These, these better be good. I mean, I've got a good feeling about them because Jacqueline knows her highlighters, but damn, did I really just spend like 90 quid on two highlighters? Yes, I did. Will I do that again? Probably. So first impression, packaging is stunning. Absolutely stunning and it arrived really quickly as well. I had to pay some taxes, but it calculated it like before I actually paid. So it wasn't like I had any surprises or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open up the palette. Okay, so it's packaged very, very nicely. It says you're looking at an original. Um, <laughs> this is no ordinary highlighter palette. It's a work of art. Okay, I'll be the judge. Oh, to be fair, that is nice. That is really nice packaging. I actually haven't really seen too much about these online, but no, I appreciate the packaging. It's weighty. It does look like a luxury product and like so it should for nearly 60 quids. Okay, so let's open this bad boy up. Da, 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 da. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking very good. These three shades here are getting me excited. This one is a little bit more like a blush top for me personally, but oh yeah, it's just these two in particular. I'm just like, Mm. Okay, let's do some swatches. So we have Gleam, Iced, Sparks, and Mesmerized. Okay, these look very good. I'm just gonna do some swatches here. That's nice. Ooh, that one's nice, it's a little bit more metallic. Okay, these are all looking good to me. Oh yes. Oh, yes, these all look very, very nice. Okay, first impressions with a finger swatch. So far, so good. So now let's go ahead and open this guy up. So, I mean, there are a bunch of different colors. Let me just double check. I feel like there's, I feel like there's two different types of palettes. Yes, yeah, so you have one called the flash, which is what I got. And then you have the flare, which is for slightly deeper skin tones. And then, wait, why are these, what's going on here? So I've got the Morphe website up here and it says, the Beaming Light Loose Highlighter, do are them, oh, I think I should have gotten another one as well. Is that right or is that wrong? Uh, okay, oh, I thought they were the same, the loose highlighters. So it turns out there are two different types of loose highlighters. I got the, there's the Beaming Light one, which I didn't get. Turns out I got the Mood Light one, which was 37 pounds, not 29. Wow, okay. Okay, so I'm just looking in the description. It says grab any Jacqueline Cosmetics highlighter and get the matching brush for free. I didn't get one of them. I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette. I bought the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette and I bought one of the loose highlighters. I didn't get a brush for free. Where's my bloody brush? How rude, but it's fine, I'll get over it. So it says it's a luminous powder infused with diamond and rose quartz powders. Blurs imperfections, enhances your complexion, radiant finish. Use it as a finishing powder all over the face to get that lip from within glow or blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, so I feel like the one that I got is maybe the slightly more like natural one, the one you can just use all over your face. But I will pick up the other one and I'll maybe put it in like a first impressions or something. Okay, it's a big boy. How you doing? Again, packaging is stunning. Like it is really, really, really stunning. It's weighty. It's good quality packaging, I've got to give her that. Okay, let's open this guy up. So like I said, the shade that I got was Carrot, which actually looking at it now, maybe looks a little bit too dark for me right now. It was a toss up between this one and the lighter one. In hindsight, I now probably should have gone for the lighter one, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna 
wiggle my finger around there and we'll do the swatch of that one just here. Okay, so that one is a lot more subtle. God damn it, if I knew that, I would have gotten the more intense one. But you know, it's probably a good thing because I only have one face and I got four intense highlights to try it and then this one's try it all over my face. So it's not too bad. So first of all, I think I'm gonna try it this guy here. I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheek to start off with and then I'll probably put it like all over the rest of my face. So I'm gonna swirl my brush in there. Okay, and let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's definitely doing something. Okay. It's very, very finely milled. So like it looks stunning on the skin and it is definitely a lot more wearable than some other highlighters. Like I am more than happy to step out with like a metallic stripe across my face. It's just what I like. But I have seen some of you guys say in the comments that you've tried like really blinding highlighters and they're just not your thing for like day to day. This is definitely something that's a lot more wearable. It sits really nicely on the skin. It looks stunning to be honest. Like I could go a little bit more intense cause I always kind of can, but no, that is actually really freaking pretty. And the color's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be either. It's quite like a sheer highlighter, but it's like, I mean, it still packs a punch as you can see. I might like try some on my chin here. I do kind of see what they mean when they say it does blur imperfections. Cause I do have a few little bumps on my cheek, nothing major, just like, I don't know, I guess like teeny tiny blackheads or whatever. And it does seem to blur them out quite a bit. I will do little cutaways and everything in a second to show you guys. But no, that is nice. It is expensive. I mean, it's nearly 40 quid. I mean, it's nearly as expensive as the bloody palette, but like price aside, I'm really into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly dust off my brush here. I'm gonna use the same brush just to kind of like keep it fair, but I am just dusting off the excess right now just so I'm not, I ain't cheating or nothing. Let's now go ahead and try one of these guys. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe try iced here. That was this one, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one here first. So I'm just gonna take my brush and swirl it around in there. There is the tiniest little bit of kickback, but nothing major at all. Okay, and let's see what we can do with this guy. Oh. Fuck. Uh, that's actually insane, like look. I'm actually a little bit lost for words, to be honest. It just disappears and then it's like, hello. Okay, fair enough. Wow, right, um, hmm. That's so much more intense than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be metallic and I thought it was gonna be intense. But this is possibly one of the most intense highlighters I think I've ever tried on my face. Oh my God. I really don't even know what to say to that, to be honest. I don't even need to say anything. It's so intense. Shit. Okay, now I'm gonna try out this one here. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this one now because this is obviously darker than that one. And this one looks like white on my cheek. So, mm, this could be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this. Again, I dusted off my brush. So I'm not gonna take as much. I'm gonna tap off the excess. Okay. Oh, these are bonkers. Okay, right, we've all seen the drama with the lipsticks and stuff. I never tried the lipsticks. I had a friend who had them. She really liked them. So I know some people have been a bit wary to try out her new highlighters. These are genuinely, like, probably some of the most intense highlighters I've literally ever seen in my entire life. I cannot stress that enough. And it's like, they're intense, but they do just disappear on the skin. Like, that just goes from basically blinding you and burning your irises out of your skull to disappearing and they look so smooth on your cheeks. That one is like white though. Like I thought that was gonna be my go-to color, but that is like white. So even though it might look like this is mostly suited to maybe like light medium skin tones, if you are super pale, this will definitely work on you because it literally is like basically a silver. Okay, just dusting off my brush once again. Okay, so now let's try out this guy down here called Sparks. So again, I'm wiggling my brush in there, nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna put that just up here. Let me try and like get my hair out of my face here. Ooh, that's a good one. This one's definitely a little bit more yellowy, kind of golden toned. And I'd say it's maybe a little bit softer than the other ones, but that is still just popping. 
All right, so last but not least, I'm gonna try this guy here. Obviously, I am running out of face here, so I will probably just go over that a little bit, the, um, this guy here, the single one, and I'll probably kind of use that as a little bit more of like a blush topper, so I'll try and put it a little bit lower so we can differentiate. Yeah, I'm gonna take some of Mesmerized, and let's see what you got. Ooh. Hang on, let me like load myself up a bit more here. Oh, I thought that was gonna be really pinky and more of a blush top, but that actually looks really nice and kind of like peachy, almost a bit like champagne pop, that kind of color. Again, I'll do cutaways to kind of show you guys how each one of them is looking on my skin, but these are mad. This one is the one that's getting me the most, the shade Iced. Like, this is insane to me. Let me add a little bit more of that. Go back in with that. Ready? Are you ready? It's crazy. And it just looks so good on the skin. Like, I'll show you guys the macro shots and everything. It just looks smooth and it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't pick up any like imperfections or anything like that. Let me do a bit on the end of my nose. Oh my God, these are a joke. I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest. I was expecting them to be good enough. Like, I was expecting them to be good. I knew it wasn't gonna be a complete waste of my money, but I wasn't expecting this because this is literally just so, so intense. This one I could kind of take or leave for like almost 40 pounds. I mean, obviously you can use it as like an all over. So maybe we'll try that a little bit. I am fully gonna end up just looking like a freaking disco ball by the end of this video. But like if I just take some of that here and maybe I'll dust it, I don't know, the center of my forehead. I don't know if that's gonna do too much. I mean, it adds a little bit of luminosity. It kind of reminds me of the Laura Mercier loose powder, the glow version. Obviously you've got like the translucent and you also have the glow one now. Kind of reminds me of that. The Laura Mercier one is cheaper, so I will be more inclined to use that one all over my face as opposed to spending like 40 quid and using this one all over my face. So yeah, this one is nice. Um, I feel like I can just kind of like take it or leave it. This one, however, this is the game changer. Like, this is fully, fully worth the money. Like, I have no regrets about buying this at all. I would buy it again in a heartbeat, it's that good. I mean, say what you want about the whole lipstick gate situation, but these highlighters are honestly just phenomenal. So guys, that's about it for today's video. I know it's a very, very short one, but obviously I am just reviewing a couple of highlighters. I can't really do much else. Hopefully some of you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. Let me know if any of you found it helpful. Let me know if you're gonna be picking up any of these highlighters. Like I said, they are pricey. This one is nice, like it is a nice highlighter. I'm glad I've got it. Would I buy another one? Probably not, but I will be picking up the one that looks like this. But yeah, this palette is insane. 100% worth the money. It is so expensive. It's like nearly 60 quid. Each highlighter ends up working out as around about 15 pounds, which I mean like, it's not too bad, but they're not obviously like the biggest pans in the world. But no, I love this. I love it so much. Like I can 100% tell that one of these highlighters is without a doubt gonna make it to like my top 10 highlighters. So yes, they're pricey. Yes, it ends up making it more expensive as well when you add tax and duties into it and everything like that. But is it good? Hell yes. My cheeks kind of speak for themselves. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of you found it helpful. If you did enjoy it, then please do give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. I literally feel like a freaking disco ball right now. And I'm honestly obsessed with it. But apart from that, that's it from me and my super glowy glows donut cheeks. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>